All right, so now this video, we're gonna take a quick look at this integrated circuit. So this is an LM358. It is a dual op amp. And what that means, let's see if I can get that back into focus there. What that means is that there's an op amp on one side and an op amp on the other side. One thing I like about this is that uh, we can use low voltages. I'm using five volts and uh, this is a DC. So this is considered a single power supply instead of a split power supply. We're not gonna work with negative voltages, just from zero volts to five volts. And the uh, pin layout is actually really simple. So there's uh, one op amp on one side, as I said, and one on the other. As you can see, this is where we have the uh, negative side of the power supply to pin number four. There's that uh, little, uh, can't think of what it's called at the moment, but a little uh, dimple there. That's where pin number one is. And then two, three, four, slide across, five, six, seven, eight. So pin eight is the positive power supply. And so those are the power supplies. We got those taken care of. There's just six more pins. This uh, pin number one is the output. Pin number two is the inverted input. And pin number three is the non-inverted input. So those three pins are the same over here. Top one is the output, the inverting input, and the non-inverting input. Okay, so now I got some LEDs and resistors. We're gonna build a polarity indicator. So I got this jumper here, cause we're gonna need to use the uh, row below here, and we don't want to cut into there. So we're just moving this slot up to there. So we're gonna take this LED, and normally I work positive up, working my way down. So we're going to put the long lead, the anode there, the short lead, the cathode, where uh, the jumper comes. With uh, this LED, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to put the long lead, the anode, where that jumper connects, and the short lead, one row down. The short lead is the uh, cathode. And uh, when you want the LED to light up, you need to make the anode more positive than the cathode by at least about 1.8 volts. It kind of varies a little bit depending on how much current's flowing through. So now we got a resistor. As I said, the anode, the long lead of this one is up on top. So we want to plug the resistor to the positive rail and to the anode of that LED. So now when the output is low, zero volts, we'll have five volts here and uh, conduction. With uh, this LED, we're gonna do the opposite. So we got the cathode down there. We're gonna to go to the negative rail and connect to the cathode. The uh, resistors don't have polarity. Doesn't matter which way you put them. The LEDs, of course, matter. So now when we have five volts at the output, we'll have zero volts there, and that LED will light up. So now we need our reference voltage. And my goal is to take the uh, output here when it's a higher voltage then we'll have a high output there of uh, 5 volts and when I get a lower voltage we'll have a low output of uh, 0 volts there so if we want the output to be the same then we need to put our reference point to the inverting pin so it's it's that one there so one of these resistors this is a 27 kilo ohm resistor and uh, the value, oops, wrong spot. The value doesn't really matter too much. We're going to make a voltage divider. This is an equal value. So this is uh, also 27 kilo ohms. Got it from that package. These two resistors, as I said before, protecting the LEDs are 220 ohms. So we're going to put one to the positive rail, the other to the negative rail, just like uh, any other voltage divider that uh, with uh, fixed resistors that gets you half the voltage. So now, that's our uh, reference point up there, second pin down, non-inverting pin, the, uh, or inverting pin, I mean, the uh, trim pot here, which is going to be used as a potentiometer to give us a voltage from 5 to 0 volts, we're going to put to the non-inverting pin. 
And so that's what the non-inverting means. The output's going to have the same high or low signal as the input. So now, let's see if it works. I actually have not tested this, so it may not. And uh, we got one problem here that uh, both uh, LEDs are on. I don't like that. We're at the positive rail. Let's go to the negative rail. Now you see the other. Just uh, that LED goes, is on. So we're at the negative rail there. So this is what we expect. Since uh, we're at the negative rail, we're close to zero volts. If I turn it out of the way, we should be at zero volts. So we should have zero volts there. And that moves up to the LED. This is the positive rail. We consider that five volts. And so that LED lights up. And uh, so now let's see if I can troubleshoot what's wrong. That uh, both LEDs should not be on. Should just be one LED on. So that's kind of confusing. Let's uh, quickly make a change. So what we're going to do is uh, unplug the uh, potentiometer there. We're going to shift these resistors. So now the voltage divider is at the non-inverting pin. And we're going to plug this into the inverting pin. So now we're going to stay up at more positive. So we got a higher voltage, we should have a lower voltage at the output and the uh, top LED should light up. That lights up nicely. When we turn it down, now uh, we got that same problem again where both LEDs are lit. So something's uh, goofy there. Let's jump to the other side of the circuit and see the other side of the integrated circuit and see what we get. Alright, so now I made the same circuit as I first made over here. Remember, the uh, top pin though is the positive power supply, so they all shift down one compared to this side because the negative was down there. So, this is uh, pin number seven. Remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven's the output, six is the inverting input, and uh, five is the non inverting input. So, right now we got this turn towards the negative rail so we should have about zero volts at the output and you can see that this LED is on so positive supply 5 volts heads towards negative 0 volts and again now we can see that both LEDs are uh, lit this one brighter but uh, still that was undesired and I didn't uh, do any test runs so it's pretty obvious what's wrong, but we'll get the uh, meter here and uh, take a look. So I was guessing that this would output 5 volts. So we're going to put uh, this probe to the uh, negative rail anywhere that directly connects to the negative rail. As I said before, this is our 0 volt reference point. And this uh, jumper connects to the output here. So I can just go to this end of the jumper to find the voltage and as you can see there it's 3.3 volts so it's not very close to 5 volts if I turn this down to negative there now you'll see that uh, we got pretty close to 0 volts uh, 1 volt still this is more than I thought there would be so I'm uh, learning a lot doing this test circuit and uh, I'm gonna have to change how I do this when I make the official video. This was kind of just a quick practice run, get another bonus video out there and uh, show you some of the process that I go through while uh, designing circuits that I don't come across on my own. And uh, so I learned a lot from this video, hope you did too.